Welcome to another Moog demo library. Today we're going to explore patching velocity and aftertouch with Matriarch. Matriarch's keyboard is capable of generating velocity and aftertouch signals, but they aren't patched anywhere by default. You have to use the corresponding patch points in the back to program them. In this video, we'll use aftertouch and velocity to add vibrato to our sound. First, we'll set up a vibrato patch. Vibrato is an effect that adds a slight variation in pitch to a sound. We use the modulation oscillator to drive the vibrato and patch it to the frequency inputs of our oscillators. We'll start by patching the modulation oscillator output to an attenuator input. This way we can use this attenuator knob as a modulation depth control. We'll next take the output of the attenuator and run it through a malt. And we'll send copies of that signal to oscillator 1 and to oscillator 2. Each of Matriarch's oscillators has two frequency inputs, the pitch input, which is scaled exponentially, and the linear FM input, which is scaled linearly. A deep discussion of the differences between these two inputs is outside of the scope of this video, but I invite you to play with them both yourself to discover how their different responses sound. We'll just use the linear FM input for now. Now when we play a chord, we can use the attenuator to add vibrato to our first two oscillators. Now let's use aftertouch to control the depth of vibrato. We'll scale the attenuator back to noon and take a patch cable and patch from the keyboard aftertouch out to the CV input of the attenuator. Now when we play a chord, we won't hear any vibrato until we apply aftertouch. In this case, I think the aftertouch range is way too wide though, so we'll use an attenuator to scale it, patching the aftertouch to an attenuator and the output to the CV input. Now let's play a chord and apply full aftertouch and use the attenuator to scale the maximum amount of vibrato that we want. Now we can play and have more subtle control over how we add aftertouch to our playing. So with this patch, we can control the rate of vibrato and the depth that the aftertouch applies. Alternatively, we can use velocity to control the depth of vibrato instead of aftertouch. We'll just move the patch cable from the aftertouch output next door to the velocity output. Now when we play softly, we won't get much vibrato, and when we press the keys hard, we'll get a lot of vibrato. By using Matriarch's velocity and aftertouch capabilities, and using patching to scale it and route it to whatever destination we choose, we can turn Matriarch into a powerful, expressive instrument. 